I need you to smash the like button. I need to see 40,000 likes on this video. It's the only way to do it, so Taylor driveway. Stay tuned, keep it live. Let's get into this video. If you really rocking with me, drop the plug emoji. It's something that I've never done before, so I tried to take all the precautions that I needed to take in the different measures uh, as far as putting heat protectant in my hair, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, uh, and I even straightened it on the lowest setting. But one thing I've noticed that my hair is responding differently to it. Um, I won't necessarily say in a bad way, but my hair is kind of reverting into freeform lots, into dread lots. And it's gotten to the point where it's not as curly, but it's more so like strands of long, longer strands of curls. Uh, so it used to be like an S shape. Now it's like a looser S. And it's turning, it look like it's, you know, locking up on me a little bit. So um, I'm trying to figure out what did I do to necessarily, I guess, transition back to curly. You know, as you see in my straight to curly video, all I used was Camille Rose. I've been trying to figure out if I need to add more moisture in my hair, because as you know, I haven't been washing my hair for the past six months. Um, I recently started washing my hair last couple of months and I've been adding more moisture to my hair, more conditioner, um, just to get my hair back to its original state, because like I said, I've never straightened my hair before, and it's reverting to dreads. So I'm trying to figure out the different products, if this product is having a reaction to this product that I'm using, maybe if I'm not using so faked, um, my hair is reacting differently because I have a natural hair type. Leave a comment if you want me to make a uh, hair chart video and a hair type video because I can go over what my hair type is and how to find out your hair type as well. Having a reaction to the different products and my hair is trying to like figure out the cycle and the routine that it already was in. So I do the same routine and the same products and I added some products to some products away. But the only difference that I've seen or that I made in this past month was actually straightening my hair. Uh, so it's definitely something I would never recommend you do to straighten your hair. Um, it was no really particular reason for me to straighten my hair besides showing you the length of my current hair because you know a lot of you want to see that. So I definitely want to uh, actually educate you a few seconds on some tips to do. Make sure you use a heat protectant in your hair. I'm gonna try to figure out this process so I'm gonna be showing you and sharing my experience as I'm trying to get it back on the same track uh, it's been 30 days already now so I'm trying to get it to revert back to that the state that I was at where I was you know I'm still satisfied with my hair but it's just it's going it's getting longer you know of course you all challenge me to grow out my hair and make sure it gets longer and longer and not getting trimmed uh, so I'm not really used to longer hair um, so it's a, it's a difference it's it's something that I'm figuring out on the way um, I like it definitely I like it no complaints about it it's just it's more to manage your hair when it's longer um, and maintain your hair when it's longer. When you're washing your hair, you got more hair, uh, more products, you have to take more time into it. So it's definitely a difference between, you know, short curls where you can just do the sponge or you can just do a two strand twist or whatever the case may be of how you get your hair curly. But with me, it's growing fast and fast and longer. It's getting thicker, uh, it's locking up. So I'm having trouble reverting back to where I was able to be at this certain state. So now, a month later, it's grown even more. So I'm just trying to figure this out because my hair won't revert back to the curly state that it was in. Um, I'm the hair goat, don't get it twisted. But, um, so I'm just trying to figure out, you know, and just give you some tips and advice on what not to do if you do straighten your hair. Hair lotion is very good, especially if you have extremely dry hair. You got olive oil, I lose olive oil instead of coconut oil. I'm um, gonna use a sulfate free shampoo. I hope this was able to assist you on your natural journey, whether you're looking to get longer hair or curlier hair, whatever the case may be. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Terrell Taylor. And Taylor Trial, remember, it's never too late to tailor your life the way you wanna see it. My name is Terrell Taylor, can't wait to see you next time.